Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Today's subject is uh, pretty off topics from uh, machining. Uh, lots of people have some, let's say the CRT monitors, not the big ones, you usually uh, they don't get as big as the uh, TV screens with the LCDs and things like that, but uh, they're pretty outdated because we can't get the resolution from them uh, as, as we get now with the new monitors. There's a way to get rid of them safely, uh, since the uh, you know the glass front, you know like where the, the picture uh, just uh, imprints itself, is glass and this is going towards like a funnel type uh, end with a cannon that shows the electrons going towards the front in a way that it just like goes left and right and it slow, slowly goes down in the rasterized uh, motion and quickly comes back up goes down there again you know this happens in a fraction of a second and the fact you don't see any flicker it's the coating behind that's behind the glass where uh, the coating will stay phosphorescent for uh, you know a fraction of a second. I'll be showing you some of those uh, you know little things in there, like as we go uh, and go outside in a few minutes. Um, those this is a vacuum tube. Front is thick, very big heavy glass, and going towards the back like a little bit of a, like a funnel uh, you know a style uh, shape. You'll be having that little cannon, and the area in the back is much thinner glass and uh, much more prone to breakage or whatever. Since this is a very high vacuum in there, uh, you can expect that if you break something in there that will implode and sh throw shrap shrap uh, you know, shrapnel like uh, very sharp pieces of glass just all over the place. It's deadly in many circumstances. So if you're lucky, maybe you survive, but uh, you know, sometimes you might just, uh, you know, you might just die from it. It's absolutely dangerous. So you never throw an unprotected tube in the garbage or leave it uh, accessible to people or where it could be hit or something because it's it's like a it's like a bomb <laughs> a potential bomb in there so I'll be showing you the safe way to decommission this uh, type of tubes just by letting the air uh, in in a controlled matter so it's not as dangerous as the, uh, the, the as it could be so let's gear it up because uh, let's get geared and then uh, like uh, might be safe but better safe than the sorry and uh, we'll go outside and just uh, I'll be showing you how to uh, make them safe. Okay, you need to decommission an old uh, type TV screen, the one with the vacuum tube on it. Best way, you get uh, as close as possible to get to those uh, steps, untied all the rings. This can be removed by just pulling on them. There we go. I already did some work on it, but uh, here you might want to wa uh, wear some gloves, protective gears, like uh, a hood like this. Big heavy gloves. Let me get ready. We'll see the rest. Okay, now we're ready to let the air in. Uh, you do not want to knock on these parts because this is vacuumed in there. That will implode and pretty, uh, pretty much let go uh, all kinds of pieces of glasses. <laughs> you know, like it. It's gonna be like a little bomb, but if you just diffuse the end there, the tip where it's been vacuumed in, you're gonna be hearing just uh, the air in rush. That's it. That tube is uh, pretty much uh, not, but not much dangerous anymore. That's easy and that's safe. As, uh, as safe, you know, as safe as, as safe as it can be, and you don't put the uh, this kind of tube in the uh, in the garbage or uh, accessible to any people that would uh, just go and uh, break the neck or just uh, you know get uh, <laughs> get injured with that. Okay, I happen to um, have uh, smashed the uh, CRT tube. You want to see how uh, how thick this is? This surface here with the uh, fluffy uh, surface, like silvery surface, is the front of the tube itself. This is some uh, kind of a flat tube. Very good. This gives you the 90 of the dimensions here. This is, uh, oh, this is imperial. And if I turn around, this is metric. The corners are a little bit even thicker than... Uh... There you go. This is the front of the tube. And this area here will be going back, you know, to the, uh, the shape, the uh, bowl shape in the back. There you go. This is another part of it. 
metric imperial this is another part of it this is this is the uh, let me show you the silvery phase where you got the uh, phosphorus uh, surface there where the electrons get uh, you know get the light on like a, just a little bit like a fluorescent light a little bit when they hit the uh, front they just make a little dot of light there you go this is about oops this is pretty sure we got to be careful on this very side there it's a bit more than three quarters of an inch going down to a half inch or a little bit more if you talk metric you're talking about uh, 20 millimeters there going down to uh, maybe about uh, 14 15 millimeters there this is some heavy glass the uh, weight on these kinds of monitors is about uh, you know tube the tube itself is maybe 75 percent of the weight or something like that that's pretty interesting okay what you're seeing there is the mask inside the tube and when I let the air in the uh, the device I th this was at the end there this little thing there with the tube covering the whole, uh, the whole the whole screen you're gonna be seeing in here got three little holes where the three colors red uh, red green blue make an addition to make a uh, full white color the uh, three tubes are coming down the bottom there the electrons get accelerated from the uh, bottom there towards the front of the screen you got the deflection left and left and right like this and it starts on the top going downwards this this uh, element there stays stable some uh, electric uh, electromagnets uh, um, makes the uh, deflection from up and down this will go from the rear there right to the front there this is a, a mesh you see that it's translucent you see see my hand behind there this is a very fine mesh going I'll try not to cut myself going to the silvery surface there and the silvery surface there in the front oh, that's dirty that silvery surface in the front there will be the uh, support or the uh, media where you see the uh, image that's being lightened up by the electrons coming from the cannon that little cannon part in the back that's you know roughly how it works CRT tube now it's not the same thing anymore it's the uh, LCDs or uh, you know the LED screens are a little bit different uh, principle the old the old type